Bengals will be in town this weekend. The story a whole different animal, though. You see, a beef farm is hoping you don't steer them in the wrong direction and help name their newest calf. You like that? Reporter Andres Gutierrez shows us what's at stake as workers milk this opportunity. <laughs> At Colonial Gardens, about 17 miles away from the loudest NFL stadium, where the goats aren't hungry for touchdowns, all eyes are on Penny. Do we have some things to say? The red Dexter cow will soon be a mom, perhaps on Red Friday. There were some kind of trick signs that happened, but um, she's holding out. And I don't know if it's because of the cold or just all the attention she's getting. <laughs> she's about to get a whole lot more. Grace Ames, who's helping Penny give birth, is calling on Chief's Kingdom to come up with a name for Penny's calf. Patrick Moo Holmes, Travis Kalfsey, Nicole Milkman, Letharia Sneed are some of the names being floated around. We will get the word out on our social media. Uh, Colonial Gardens uh, Facebook and Instagram page will post some options there and we'll let the general public vote and we'll choose something from that. And once Penny gives birth, the other animals like Peaches here won't be able to go over and say hello to the MVP immediately. They'll be kept away for at least a week so they can get acclimated to their new spaces. With Penny now in the proverbial fourth quarter of her pregnancy, when it's all said and done. Everything came down to this 13 seconds, but this process of the birthing won't take 13 seconds, right? I mean, it might take 13 days at this point. My cow is so stubborn, but <laughs> hopefully it goes a lot faster than that. She is holding on. Who knows? Maybe for a victory Monday. In Blue Springs, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.